She may seem a picture of health. A woman about town with a job in the media and a lifestyle to match. But age 35, Ruth Crafer has been told she has a tumor. We got noticeable and it was uncomfortable to lay down flat in bed and and it affected my bladder, you know, in the sense that you go to the loo quite frequently. Um, and went back to the doctor and he sent me for an emergency scan at St Mary's and they told me I had fibroids. Fibroids are benign tumours which grow in the wall of the womb. They aren't cancers and they won't kill you, but they can grow very large. The whole process from start to finish of your stomach growing larger than you're used to, not being able to wear the same clothes, not being able to go to the gym or ride my motorbike because I couldn't get my leather trousers on, um, you know, all that stuff affects your esteem because you, you know, you look fat, you feel uncomfortable, it is uncomfortable. But it's not just the way you look. The tumours reduce your chance of being able to conceive and carry a baby. The most common treatment is to remove the womb altogether. It's drastic surgery and only an option for women who've already had children. For women like Ruth, who haven't yet had families, it's a bleak prospect. Being faced with the thought of having that decision taken away from you, I was, you know, a bit upset. By chance, she found herself part of a fascinating experiment that could lead to bloodless surgery. At St Mary's Hospital in London, doctors are using heat to destroy tumours. It's quick, relatively painless, and most importantly, means Ruth can still have children. Morning, Ruth. Hello. How are you today? Good. Fine. Ruth is a patient in the first stage of the research. A team of doctors led by Dr. Vladislav Gudroich are using lasers to burn away the tumour. And what we will do is we will get you prepared over the next few minutes and start within 15, 20 minutes. Well, Ruth has at least two large fibroids, the largest one of which is approximately 15 centimetres in length by about 10 centimetres in width. And we are hoping to reduce the volume of those fibroids. The procedure involves inserting needles into the tumour while Ruth lies inside a special type of scanner. Like a conventional body scanner, it uses a strong magnetic field. But this scanner has not one, but two huge donut-shaped magnets. Because there's a gap between them, Dr. Goodroyich can operate on Ruth at the same time as her body is being scanned. OK, Ruth, the next scan's about to start. You're doing really well. This one takes three and a half minutes, nice and still. In the control room next door, Dr. Goodroyich decides the line of attack. What we'll do, Paul, then, is place our needles in this position, which I think is just to the right of the midline, and where that abdominal wall is bulged forward by that fibroid, and place the needles deeply into that large area of tissue and carry out at least two, maybe three thermal ablations across that volume. So I'll go and get scrubbed up. OK. Start scanning, please. Using the pictures of Ruth's womb from the scanner to guide him, the doctor inserts the needles, which are hollow, through the skin into the tumour. Laser fibres are then threaded through these needles, right into the middle of the tumour. Once the lasers are in place, it's just a matter of switching on. Lasers on. The lasers heat the tissue to 55 degrees centigrade. Not much hotter than a bath, but hot enough to destroy the tumour. Temperature changes show up on the scan, so the process can be precisely controlled to protect the healthy parts of the womb. I think a bit closer in, yeah, you can see it starting to work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right, that's right. I think that's where we can see them. So that, that'll be, that, that looks very good. What we're seeing at the moment is the thermal map, which is in real time. It is actually where the heat is distributed in the uterine fibroid as we're applying that heat. So it allows us to be very sure of which bit we're heating and how big the lesion is. So not only is that safe for the patient because we're not putting the heat in, in an uncontrolled fashion into them and, and we could be heating other areas, but we also see how much we've done and how much more we need to do. It takes just a few minutes for the heat to destroy the tumour, carefully monitored by the medical team. OK, we're going to stop it within 30 seconds then. The, the key advantages of this procedure are that it is done purely as an outpatient, so the patient can be on their way home by the afternoon of the study. There's no general anaesthetic involved, so we avoid the, those complications. It is very minimally invasive, no surgery is involved, and we believe that it will also be potentially fertility conserving. The operation has been a success. Ruth is up and ready to go home. They had 
did three good burns, which is good. Um, and hopefully that means I won't have to come back for a little while. Um, and now I'm going to go home, go to bed, and have a quiet weekend, I think. Ruth's treatment is groundbreaking, but the next stage of research at St Mary's is even more extraordinary. Just down the corridor, they're using not lasers, but ultrasound to heat the tumour. It's not yet ready to try on patients, so they're testing it on a piece of beef. It uses a special type of very powerful ultrasound, which can heat up tissue from outside the body. The ultrasound passes harmlessly through healthy tissue, only causing heating where it is brought to a focus, like sunlight through a magnifying glass. The power we're using is a, at least 5,000 times greater than a normal diagnostic ultrasound, and the frequency is much lower. That results in heating in areas where we focus the ultrasound at, whereas with normal diagnostic radiology, the powers are so much smaller that there is no significant heating in the tissues. This is a heat map of the meat. The orange outline is the area they are aiming for. The green area is the meat which has been heated by the ultrasound, destroying the cells. Today it's a piece of beef. Tomorrow it could be a liver tumour or breast cancer. It's potentially bloodless surgery. The potential is to destroy areas of abnormal tissue in the body which are reachable with ultrasound in an entirely non-invasive manner and also that the tissues around the area of destruction are not damaged. There will be no collateral damage there because we can focus it very tightly and also monitor with MR exactly where the heat is applied and how much heat damage is done. That bloodless surgery may be just around the corner, but for now, Ruth is happy that today's breakthrough means that within hours, she can get on with her life with the chance of still having children.